Hunfleur, Hunfleur, Hunfleur. Hunfleur French, Offlo Arlisson is a commune in the Calvados department in northwestern France. It is located on the southern bank of the estuary of the Seine across from Le Havre and very close to the exit of the Pont de Normandie. Its inhabitants are called Hanfleurais. It is especially known for its old port, characterized by its houses with slate-covered frontages, painted many times by artists, including in particular Gustave Kerbet, Eugene Boudin, Claude Monnet, and Johann Jonkind, forming the École de Hanfleur Hanfleur School, which contributed to the appearance of the Impressionist movement. The St. Catherine Church, which has a bell tower separate from the principal building, is the largest wooden church in France. History The first written record of Hanfleur is a reference by Richard Roman III, Duke of Normandy, in 1027. By the middle of the 12th century, the city represented a significant transit point for goods from Rouen to England. Located on the estuary of one of the principal rivers of France with a safe harbor and relatively rich hinterland, Hanfleur profited from its strategic position from the start of the Hundred Years' War. The town's defenses were strengthened by Charles V in order to protect the estuary of the Seine from attacks from the English. This was supported by the nearby port of Harfleur. However, Hanfleur was taken and occupied by the English in 1357 and from 1419 to 1450. When under French control, raiding parties often set out from the port to ransack the English coasts, including partially destroying the town of Sandwich in Kent, England, in the 1450s. At the end of the Hundred Years' War, Hanfleur benefited from the boom in maritime trade until the end of the 18th century. Trade was disturbed during the wars of religion in the 16th century. The port saw the departure of a number of explorers, in particular in 1503, of the not palmiered Ganivel to the coasts of Brazil. In 1506, local man Jean Denis departed for Newfoundland Island and the mouth of the St. Lawrence. An expedition in 1608, organized by Samuel de Champlain, founded the city of Quebec in modern day Canada. After 1608, Hanfleur thrived on trade with Canada, the West Indies, the African coasts, and the Azores. As a result, the town became one of the five principal ports for the slave trade in France. During this time, the rapid growth of the town saw the demolition of its fortifications on the orders of Colbert. The wars of the French Revolution and the First Empire, and in particular the Continental Blockade, caused the ruin of Hanfleur. It only partially recovered during the 19th century with the trading of wood from northern Europe. Trade was however limited by the silting up of the entrance to the port and development of the modern port at Le Havre. The port however still functions today. Hanfleur was liberated together by the British Army 19th Platoon of the 12th Devons, 6th Air Landing Brigade, the Belgian Army Brigade, Piran on 25 August 1944, and the Canadian Army without any combat. Toponymy Mentioned as Hunnefleth in 1025, Hunnefloth around 1062, Hunnefloh in 1198, Hanflu in 1246, Hunnefleu up to the 18th century. Traditional pronunciation, Kafjo with the H strongly aspirated, like in Lock. It is lost nowadays. The marker floor formerly fleu, which is widespread in Normandy CF, Barfleur, Vitefleur, Harfleur, Cremenfleur, Fiquefleur, and Langerfleur stream, which means stream, river running into the sea, was still in use in the 13th century as written in a document Le Fleu de Leicester, meaning the Leicester River. It could come from a word of Old Norse origin flood, compare Old English flood flood, which means estuary, branch of the sea, combined with Floy River running into the sea for the meaning. But according to the numerous old mentions of Barfleur Fluth 1066-77, Floth 1081-87, Flute 12th century, Flet 1200, it is more probably the Oe Fleot run of water that can be found in the English place names in Fleet, such as adding Fleet Marfleet, Ausa Fleet, combined very often with a male's name. The element Han seems to come from an Anglo-Saxon given name Hanna, or the Norse Uni, variant form Hun, 
which is also found close to Hanflor in Hanneville, homonym of the Hanidel, at St. George's du Mesnil. Such a connection between two close place names can be noted regularly in the Norman toponymy. They are, in any case, close places, Cremenflor slash Cremenville, Barflor former Barbeflue slash Barbeville, etc. The ville element is almost always combined with a personal name. The similarity with the name of Bay of Hanafloy in Iceland is likely a coincidence. Geography, geography, geography. Hanflor is in the Norman department of Calvados, located on the southern bank of the estuary of the Seine, across from Le Havre, and very close to the exit of the Pont de Normandy. The town is at the eastern extremity of the 40 km 25 my coastline called the Cote Fleury Flowery Coast. Like most of northern France, Hanflor has an oceanic climate with warm summers, cool winters, rain all year round, and few extremes of temperature. Population The population has hovered between 7,400 and 10,000 since 1793. As of 2017, Hanflor had 7,425 inhabitants, who are called Hanflorais. Administration Hanflor is the seat of a canton including the communes of Ablon, Barneville Lab Bertrand, Criquiboeuf, Equimoville Fourneville, Geneville, Ganeville Sir Hanflor, Hanflor Penedepi, Ketteville, La Riviere Saint Sauveur, Saint Gachin des Bois, and La Fale and Auge. These thirteen communes also form the intercommunality of Pays de Hinflor. In 1973, Hinflor merged with the commune of Vassoe, 143 inhabitants, in 1999. The INSEE code used to be 14,725. Sites St. Catherine's Church. The church is dedicated to St. Catherine of Alexandria as evidenced by a wooden sculpture above the porch of the bell tower which separates the two naves. She is shown holding a wheel and a sword. The first nave is the oldest part of the building, dating to the second half of the 15th century, constructed right after the Hundred Years' War. It was built on the model of a market hall, using naval construction techniques, which gives the impression of an upside-down ship's hull. Then the bell tower was built a good distance away, so that parishioners would not be burnt in case of a fire. Indeed, the bell tower did draw lightning strikes due to its height and its position on the side of a hill. In the 16th century, a second nave was added, whose vault was like the wooden vaults of modest Gothic churches. This second part was rather rounder and did not look like a ship's hull. Later, supplementary bays were added to both naves. The famous axe masters of the naval yards of the city created this lovely building without using any saws, just like their Norman ancestors who can be seen in action in the Bayux tapestry, and like the Vikings before them. The beams used to create the pillars of the nave and the side walls are of unequal length. Also, some have a footing of stone, some of greater or lesser height, and some have no footing. The bays for the choir, redone in the 19th century, are of rather mediocre quality, and the roof above is higher than those of the older parts. The church is partially covered in chestnut shingles, which are called essence in the local dialect. The neo-Norman porch was built following the model of rural Normandy churches at the beginning of the 20th century, and replaced a monumental doorway in neoclassical style, from the previous century which can be seen in certain canvases by John Kind and Boudin. The doorway itself was in Renaissance style. It is worth noting that the classical organ comes from the parish church of St. Vincent of Rouen, and the Renaissance balcony is decorated with musicians. Stained glass from the 19th century decorates the windows of the East Choir. The building lacks a transept. The lateral walls of the chapels are uniquely adorned by statues of recent saints, including two local ones, St. Marcouf at St. Therese of Lisieux. There is also a painting depicting the martyrdom of St. Denis of the Nativity. Others Eglise St. Etienne St. Stephen's Church, an old parish church in Gothic style, dating in part to the 14th and 15th centuries. It is the oldest in the city. It is constructed of chalk with flint and of keen stone, 
the city of Henfleur being located at the border of those two calcareous rock formations. The bell tower is covered with a facade assentage of chestnut wood. Today, it has become the Naval Museum. Aglaise St. Leonard St. Leonard's Church, with a flamboyant Gothic-style facade. The rest of the building was rebuilt in the 17th and 18th centuries, which explains the unusual form of the bell tower which forms a sort of a dome. The interior is entirely painted in murals, including the visible wooden vaulting. Salt Barns Two barns remain out of three originals, one having been destroyed by fire. These two buildings contained 10,000 tons, 11,000 tons of salt for preserving the catch of this important fishing port. They were constructed in the 17th century, after the citizens received permission from Colbert. The bulk of the salt came from Bouage. The walls were constructed with great blocks of chalky limestone and wooden vaulting, which, being constructed by naval carpenters, evoked the hulls of vessels of the 17th century. Chapel de Grace Grace Chapel. This building was reconstructed after the cliff collapsed. On the exterior, one can see pilgrimage bells. Le Cotter St. Bernadette, the last crayfishing sloop which is still in shape to sail. It belongs to the La Chaloup de Henfleur Henfleur Sloop Association. It was enrolled as a historic monument of France Monuments, historiques as of 18 October 1983. The commune was rated four flowers of four in the Concours des Villes at Villages Fleuris. La Forge. La Forge is the house of Florence Marie, who was an artist. It also contains a garden and much art. There are different types of art, including paintings, sculptures, and mosaics. Marie's artistic eye is shown through the decorations on display at his house. Notable people. Aponce Allais, writer and humorist. Louis and Laure, 1876-1915, organist and composer. And composers, or, 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 composers. Eugene Boudin, painter, turter, painter, turter. Marcel Keynes, 1919-2006, classical trumpeter, tr classical trumpeter, classical trumpeter, tr 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 trumpeter, of the Nativity, me Pierre Berthelot, Catholic martyr, martyr. Mitchell Danino, author, of, you know, author. Of, uh, Jean Dries, painter and curator of the museum. Eugene Boudin, Hughes Gall, opera manager, 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 opera manager, 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 opera manager, 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 Jack Felix Emanuel Hamelin. Rear Admiral, Sophie Malabranch, textile designer, Christopher Rockencourt, imposter and con artist, artist, Eric Satie, musician, Albert Sorrel, a French historian, Pascal Lecoq, 1958, fine art surrealist painter, workshop and gallery from 1988 to 2000. International relations, twin towns, sister cities. Henfleur is twinned with partnerships. Henfleur, Quebec, Canada, 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 Onimichi, Japan.